Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to The Long Dark. Iron Man of... Yeah, that would be, be, that'd be me getting eaten right there. The Iron Man of Timberwolf Mountain series. So we're playing Stalker, we're playing uh, Timberwolf. We spawned in there and we're only going to play in here. We're not going to leave this map. Uh, right now, this is episode number two. And uh, we hit that first medical... Or I should say, uh, first cart. It was a food and drink cart. And we're heading heading to the one where the bear just left um, that one of them was uh, half of it was a medical cart with nothing but bandages and, anti and antibiotics and uh, uh, antiseptic and then hopefully the other cart has clothing in it or some tools or something like that but we're waiting for the bear to clear the scene here so we can go down there and loot the, loot the rest of the way while we're freezing at the same time but our uh, our homestead is just over the hill there so it's not too bad as far as as far as weather. I think we'll be all right if we can move up here. <laughs> the nice thing about that bear is he's keeping those wolves away from us. The trick is we don't want to antagonize him either. Okay, I think we're good. We'll keep an eye on him. There we go. More bandages. More, give me some pain meds. Oh, thank you. For once. More pain meds. Pain meds. Oh, that wasn't much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me some clothing. I need clothing. Clothing, 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 clothing. Ugh, lantern fuel. Oh, tools. This is going to be... Well, that's going to be all lantern fuel. Lantern fuel and flares. I mean, that's okay. At least we have more than one flare now. Alright. We're way down. We're carrying 80 pounds. But that's alright. Uh, we're starting just, just about halfway to being completely wiped as far as fatigue goes. So... We're going to just retrace our steps, try to back our way out of here. There was a wolf walking around back here somewhere. There he is. Okay. So we're just going to steer clear of him and then try to make it back to our camp. Code quick. Because we do need to recover. We need to lick our wounds. Uh, we got plenty of food. We should have enough wood. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too cold. I'm worried about the cold. That's my big thing right now. Grab this birch real quick. At least we got the wind at our back at the moment. Uh, our clothes have got to be taking a beat at this point. I kind of want to run, but at the same time, if I do that, then I will get tired super, super quick. Um, let's just try to st steer clear of this wolf if we can. If you guys see a cave, holler. <laughs> I'd rather stay in a cave than in this cabin. But uh, I know there, I know where there are a couple caves, but I think it would just take too long to get there. Which time we have? Four hours of daylight. Plus, we're carrying around so much gear. Wait, is that a cave? What is that? No, that's one of those. Uh, yeah, it's one of those. Uh, non-interior caves. Richard, what the heck is he running for? What is he running for? What's he running for? He is not coming after me, is he? Are you kidding me? What the heck is he running for? Is he running from that bear? He must have ran from the bear. Wow. Okay. I hope he doesn't deflect and come back towards me like a, you know, pinball. He could. Just have to listen. Wow, okay. Yeah, fatigue's not gonna be an issue, at least. I really need a hatchet. Really, really need a hatchet. If it gets really cold tonight, we're gonna have issues just from the sheer lack of uh, firewood. Probably gonna gather all these sticks just so we have a, a little bit more. Thought I heard something walking around here. Probably a deer, but these deer are super loud. Their footsteps are. We got plenty of food. Not worried about that. And that, I think that's our wolf walking back. I think. Yeah, there's the deer. Okay, he's just on the other side of that fallen tree. Did 
definitely need the stain on liquor wounds. I'm starting to get hungry too. A little rabbit hopping around out there. There's the Crystal Lake wolf. I think I'll be using him to uh, take down deer for me from time to time. I wonder if there's a rifle on this map at all. I have no idea. I did find a rifle around on the map, but that doesn't mean much. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Um I think we'll just rest this one off. I don't how much how much pain meds do we have? We got six of them. Yeah, we're gonna rest it because we can only sprain our ankle two more times, which could happen very quickly. Or if you get in a fight with a wolf, sometimes you can have a sprained ankle and a wrist. Or something like that. So you can actually And if you have a sprained wrist, you can't even hold a hold a weapon. So you're you're in deep trouble. All right, let's let's ditch a lot of what we're carrying here real quick. Uh, let's organize this by condition. I'm not ready to die. Yeah, I'm not ready for you to die either. I'm gonna get rid of most of this stuff here. The really good stuff. We got antibiotics. We're ready to rest anyway. So if we do get food poisoned, no big deal. We'll take some antibiotics. We'll rest for whatever ten hours, and and move on. We'll deal with it. Let's go ahead and throw about half of that in there. There. Surrounded by snow, nothing to drink. That's not true. All right, he's he's being a little whitey, isn't he? Okay, so we're gonna heat these up. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Got some wood matches. We we'll use those. We can tear down that newsprint if we have to for two more uh, tinder cedar. Oh, I got thirty-nine sticks. So yeah, we got a lot of burn time. We might that might actually help us make it through the night. You'll have to do the math on that. What is it? Uh, just say say like 40 times 8. What is that? 240 minutes of, of burn time. So what is that? About 4 hours? Just round into 39 to 40. So a little less than, than 2 hours. 8 minutes less than that. Or I should say 4 hours. Yeah. What, 3 hours and 52 minutes? All right, here we go. Let's throw on some wood. The, oh, we don't have any more wood. Okay. Let's cook up this, these peaches real quick here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, Got some, got some warmth out of those. Let's do it again. There we go. I don't know if we got food poison or not. Nope. Still just sprained ankle. Well, we just need some uh, reshi tea or whatever it is. Mushrooms. Rest remaining for four hours. I think we can just rest. I don't think we need to treat it. We'll try it. We'll, we'll do because uh, if we took this right away, we would need to rest. I think this is this, this, or this. So we're just gonna rest. And, uh, temperature in here is kind of cold, actually. What's our clothing? The clothing situation has got to be bad. Okay. Basic boots. It's actually not as bad as I expected. Heavy wool sweater. We need to repair that. That's nice. Let's go ahead and repair that real quick here. Yeah, let's repair that while we warm up here. It's going to take one hour. Let's see here. We need to really warm up quite a bit faster than this. I think we'll throw some sticks on. There we go. Let's do that. Let's just go ahead and rest. Two hours. Hopefully. 
Hopefully it's not too super cold. Okay, we're warmed up. Let me take take a look out here, see what the temperature is. This is not the optimal place. It's 15 degrees, is it? Wait, hold on. Might just be residual heat. 10 degrees. Not too hateful, actually. Might be warm enough in here with the bed. If not, we can start another fire. I'd hate to use another match, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. First aid, two more hours? Yeah, two hours remaining, so we're gonna save our, our uh, pain meds. Um, let's maybe get something to drink here. We're gonna try to move to a cave here uh, tomorrow. No need to stick around here. We've got everything we could need from here. We might have to come back, you know, for uh, for the workbench, but uh, that would be about it. So let's just keep an eye on the temperature. It feels like 27. So if we get in this bed, we get a nine per nine degree warmth bonus, which will be 36 degrees. As long as we're over 32, we're in good shape. So let's just rest for two, and just do it in small increments like that, so we're not killing ourselves like I did in the in the last episode. Okay, 25 plus 9 is the only 34, so we should still be good. Go back to sleep. And we should be healed now, too. That's the other thing. Plus, we need our condition to go up quite a bit. We're half dead. Alright. 23 plus... Yeah, we're going to be basically just very slow, slowly be bleeding off the warmth. We might need a little fire, fire at the very end of the... Uh, very end of the night here. Uh, now there's a storm outside. 54, starting to get a little cold. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's just try one hour at a time now. I think we have five hours left. Now it should be four hours once we get done sleeping here. Okay, we're still okay. Still okay. Let's get another drink. Alright. So this will take us down to three. Okay, there we go. Three hours of darkness left. Eighteen degrees. Okay, so we're slowly starting to get chilled. Start a little fire in the morning. Get warmed up back up here. Um, probably do it right now so I don't have to sleep next to the fire just to warm up uh, before we head out. What's our weight at? 62 pounds. Okay. Got lots of food here. So that's always a good thing. But uh, let's just go ahead and start a fire here if we can. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Let's just kick that up there to the wood matches. Start this fire. Hopefully we get lucky. really like to find a magnifying glass that would be the ideal item for this map you can start a fire outside take a torch bring it inside start your fire inside the fireplace use a little bit more wood that way but you'd have infinite fire starting because that magnifying glass does not wear out and of course it is uh it is sunlight dependent it will not work on cloudy days foggy days any, anything like that that's uh, overcast ourselves out here. So there we go. Let's just uh, it's starting to get nice and warm in here. Let's just warm up here for an hour. It'll be daylight. We should be completely warm by the time we wake up. And uh, we'll add one more stick and then take a take a torch with us. Here, oh no we won't need to. Okay let's take a torch with us. Alright let's see what it looks like out here. We're gonna try to make it over to uh, I'm going to try to make it over to a cave that I know of down that way. So, see what happens. Um, Alright. Check the hatch here. I'm going to grab that fir wood also. Uh, we'll leave all this here. We've got plenty of travel and food. Um, really don't need all the all this either. Yeah, we'll take that. Don't need seven bandages. Clothing, 
take all of that. We'll tear, tear this down into cloth. Uh, that looks pretty decent. Everything here looks pretty... Oh, we got way too many lantern fuels. Let's do my name. Um, that should be plenty. <laughs> that is a lot of lantern fuels. Okay, everything else looks pretty good. Three flares. I think that's going to be alright, because we might actually need three flares. Scrap metal, keep that. We're down to 53 pounds, that's not too bad. Alright, let's get going. Let's get moving here. Okay, what's the temperature? Three degrees out here. We got this torch helping helping us stay slightly warm. Try to avoid this wolf if we can. If there's anything out on the dock itself. I wonder if anybody actually goes out and checks it. Oh, you know what? Look at that. Look at that, people. <laughs> Now it makes me want to actually check the dock. It makes me really want to check the dock. Okay, but not get eaten by a wolf. So let's avoid the wolf. Or as Ben Carson would say, wolf. Thanks, wolf. <laughs> He's talking to Wolf Blitzer. Thanks, wolf. No, it's wolf. There's an L there. <laughs> it's not wolf. Wolf, He's a dog. I would like to get up to the summit. Um, <laughs> I have no idea how to get up there, but uh, would like to get up there and check out the fuselage of the plane. Right now, I don't think we have the right type of clothes for it. Oh my gosh! What's our conditions at 62? Yeah, we're not even really in super great condition, but be so much easier to uh, recover once we get to a cave because the caves are like the weather really don't don't affect them um, the cabin yeah it's it's tough to you gotta keep lighting fires and whatnot caves is that's not really the case so I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my torch here just to see where we're at as far as burn time 53% good. When it starts to get low, I'm going to start a small fire just to get 20 minutes, and I'm going to pull another torch out or use one of my other ones, just so I always have a torch. Um, it's not much, but it does give a little bit of warmth. Uh, so it's basically like having a little bit better clothing. You know, as far as defensive purposes, these torches really don't do crap for me. Um, I think I'm going to go up in this way around, because I think there's patrol wolves if I go through the pass, the canyon the other way. Or the channel, whatever the heck it's called. I think we're going to be in better shape if we go this way. Oh, there's a, there's a, a rock that I could attach a rope to. There's no rope hanging from that one, though. I saw something running at me. I'm like, oh my god, it's going to get me. It was a bunny. It's just a little bunny. Famous last words. Never yeah. been so hungry in my life. No, this is like another one of those outdoor caves. Uh, but they're worth checking. Sometimes there's loot inside, like we saw a bit earlier. Uh, we, might, we might actually find a. Uh, why did it slow down so quick there? Might actually find a uh, tool that we need or something like that. But we do have our hatchet now, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and eat real quick. I guess we can just, let's do it by condition. And, um, I don't really want to eat those because I could heat those up. Let's do this. We'll get a couple hundred calories from this. And take the edge off, plus it'll help with our thirst a little bit. So, that's good. Good enough. We do have the cattails we can always go after. And now let's check our torch again here. Where's that? It should be here, right? Where's our torch? There it is, 25%. Okay.
hopefully uh, going this way was the smart play. And so far, so far I'm liking nine degrees. something moving. It's so loud that it sounds like a deer. I think it's a deer. How loud are bears? A little nervous. If it's a wolf, I'm going to have to flare him. My, my strength is too, or my uh, life is too low. There's a wolf. There's a wolf. Let's head back this way. There's the rope that I need to get to. I need to get up there. So of course we're just going to have to freeze our butts off while we wait for this goofball to get away from my rope. Of course we could just make a run for it and jump on the rope and hope he doesn't grab us by the by the back pocket and tear into us. What is this? Oh, it's the it's the bear cave. Oh, how wonderful! How wonderful! Ah, oh, shoot! Ran out of time. Oh well. So much for that idea. It was a good. It was good in theory, wasn't it? Not so good in execution. Stay away from me, wolf. Uh, we're, we're in pretty good shape. We should be able to climb this, no problem. Oh, rest in peace, Accurize. Rest in peace. All right. Or April. April Moen. That was a really good series. 52 episodes. All right, let's get up here. Get up. Get up. Kidding me? All right, I'm not going back on that stupid thing. I'm flaring this more off. Oh, are you kidding? No, no. He ignored the flare. Torn clothing, nice. Flare from nothing. Pick up the flare. All right, now first aid yourself. Yeah, 23 health. Wonderful. I think this might be the end. It's not the end. Stop talking like that. There's the wolf heading right the same direction. There's the cave right in front of us. You can kind of see a little discoloration. Looks like a triangle in the mountain there. That's where we're going. We're going to go there, lick our wounds, heal up. I can't believe that he uh, he disregarded my flare. He just came charging straight in the ass. Glad we found the medical uh, medical crate there. I'm afraid he's gonna start coming back. There's a, an engine. About to be a lot warmer once we get here. Oh, this feels so good getting into this cave. Yes, let me in, please. We're gonna start a fire at least with our torch, so at least we won't burn a, a match. Um, yes, yeah, so it's 36 degrees in here. Uh, we're just going to. Uh, sorry about that. We're gonna get a fire going here with our torch. Use one of our sticks, that's fine. I don't think we have any. That's all we got. Oh, 
we cook up some, uh, we'll cook up some beans. Get that into our body. Cook up two cans of beans. That'll help us with our hunger. And it's going to take, uh, take away the freezing. also to help them take the take the edge. Eleven hours of daylight left. Over here again. Got plenty of uh cat too. That's my emergency food supply because it never goes bad. So there we go. Alright. Good stuff. It's really starting to warm up 52 degrees here. I'm gonna toss the flare down. Not gonna be able to use that again. You know, we should probably use that for flooring at the moment. Yeah, let's do that real quick. No, I want to use a torch. That's what I want to do. I'm going to grab a torch from this here. But I am going to get rested up here. We need to get our condition up. We're at 18% condition. We can't mess with that. So, how are we doing here? 37 minutes left on the campfire. Um, let's throw a few more on. Let's rest for one hour. Getting warmed up totally. There we go, 58 degrees, nice and warm. Alright, well, we can, uh, we can explore this. Throw one more. I'm gonna grab a torch. 19 minutes. A minute too shy. All right. I don't have a. Do I have a lantern? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. I was thinking I didn't have a lantern. I didn't have to do that with the torch, but it's okay. I'm gonna save lantern fuel, I guess. Okay. This is like an abyss. This might be kind of cool to do, actually, just for fun. Oh no, I was gonna throw it down there. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, let's not step anywhere, stupid. I was gonna throw it down there, but I forgot you can't. Oh come on. It's very picky. That's so much better to see with anyway. That goes down quite a ways. I was gonna throw it down there and run down there and pick it up. We got here. We got a skull. Uh, we got some wood. Branch that we could break up if we needed. What if that comes back when there's a storm? All right, dead guy. Painkillers, thank you. Candy bar. Backpack. That'll come in handy. Mitten. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Hopefully they're in good condition. If I could pull a rifle out of them, that would be nice. Anything else? No, nope, I don't see anything else. Alright, let's uh, take a look at those, those uh, mittens here versus what we're wearing. Oh yeah, they're they're an improvement for sure. Let's wear that. Let's put the hat on too. We're up to an 11 degree clothing bonus. Let's keep moving forward. I did grab a bedroll, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. All right, let's get going. Keep our eyes open for for loot. Yeah, I could bust these up. Actually, this would be a good time to break these up. Um, let's extinguish this. Let's bust this up since it's nice and warm down here. Yeah, 34 degrees. I'll take it. 
stuff like lumberjacking in the dark. All right, fir wood, fir wood, fir wood. Okay, everybody. Well, we're well on our way inside this cave. Uh, I think we'll go ahead, go ahead and end episode two here. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that tip jar if you want to be a producer. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurize2 and donate as little as $1 per month as a pledge. And you can be listed as associate producer on all of our videos. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Iron Man of Timberwolf Mountain. Y'all take care.